Our new pharaoh Snofru is determined that this, the fourth dynasty, be remembered as the greatest ever to rule Egypt. Pharaoh wishes that our borders be pushed even further south. He has therefore decreed that we invade Nubia and establish a fortified city at Buhen beside the second cataract of the Nile. There you must also erect a granite obelisk to serve as a beacon that this area forever belongs to Egypt and to Pharaoh. There is no granite to be found so far south, however, so you will need to import it from Abu. At Buhen, you will encounter fierce and seasoned Nubian warriors who will fight to the death to prevent us from establishing a foothold so far south. Do not despair, for after vigorous training at a military academy, your fighting men may emerge as seasoned veterans themselves. What's more, our military engineers have perfected the design of several defensive structures, such as fortified towers, walls, and gatehouses. These will prove invaluable in withstanding the onslaught of the Nubian army. Transport ships may also be employed to aid in moving your army around by water when necessary. To the north, we have opened relations with Enkomi on the island of Cyprus. This land is named for its abundant reserves of copper ore, which we are now able to purchase from them. However, thanks to a recently established Egyptian mining community at Serabet Kadim in the land of Sinai, we are able to supply our governors with copper at a much more affordable price. Supplies from Serabet Kadim are often erratic due to unrelenting Bedouin and Canaanite attacks against the settlement, and we are uncertain how much longer the Egyptian forces stationed there can hold out. Pharaoh's burial place, a unique and spectacular monument, is currently under construction at Tashur. From time to time, Pharaoh may request that you contribute some limestone to aid in the completion of this project. Hey guys, welcome back to Pharaoh Zakia, and we're here on Buhan, expansion to Nubia. A population of 3,000, pretty low prosperity and culture rating, monument rating, I just gotta build that obelisk, but kingdom rating of 75, we gotta keep Pharaoh happy. And seems like we're gonna be under some military threat here, probably not as bad as, um, as, uh, Sarabit Kadim, probably, I don't know. Uh, but uh, let's just head on into the city and see what we're up against. Let's slow the game down and pause it, actually, and have a quick look around. Now, what are we up against here? We got little oasis here, rocks. Uh, I guess we got to get the limestone out of them. Ah, some ore. Do we have raw materials? Limestone and gold mine. Yes, perfect. We can get some nice income from here. Not a lot, but we could probably fit maybe... Six? Maybe six gold mines? There's some on this left side, but there's no way to walk across. And there's farmland here, but... Uh, two ferry rides just to get a bit of farm, that's kind of far. Considering people are coming in from this area here. Um, a lot of ostriches on this side, and they're close together. So probably a whole bunch of hunting lodges here, and a ferry ride over to a granary over here to a nice housing district, which by the way, I have a slightly modified housing block, which I saw, it's not originally my own, I modified it a bit, but it's gonna be better than before, a single block holding a lot more people, uh, which I think we can just about squeeze in here, but I'm not too sure. Okay, so, first things first, I gotta get a palace set up about here, close to these gold mines, to get the gold mines set up. And once that's going, I'll build my housing area over here. We do have a few farmlands here. Chickpeas, barley. Okay, we can get our own beer from here. Perfect. Okay, so housing area here, industrial area here, hunting area on this side. And as he said, we might, if we get invaded from this side, we're going to have to transport our troops over. Maybe I can just build a whole bunch of forts. I'm not too sure. But we do have some military going. And Pharaoh will request for limestone, which we will have to mine up pretty soon. Okay, good. So, let's get started then. Okay, here we go. We got a residential area set up here. And as you can see, this time the road... Uh, there's no outside road. 
it's a little bit more efficient and this way I can have a perfect block which doesn't need any intersections with those entertainments. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pavilion over on this side and a pavilion over on this side. Then with the destination walker technique, put the juggler schools and stuff over here and they will send people to walk along these roads to reach those pavilions, uh, which will then provide entertainment for all of these housing without having to have those intersections actually built in. Now, uh, you can see my gold mines over here are going and I have that uh, uh, limestone quarry going there, which uh, in case uh, Pharaoh suddenly asks for a bunch of stuff, I'm gonna stock it into there. And I'm probably gonna need a few more houses here, so I'm just gonna build this up a little bit uh, to get things going. Uh, just squeeze houses in there. There we go. So that should be enough housing for now. I don't want to overpopulate it just so suddenly because that can always be bad. But here we go, some people moving in on this side. And as I know how food works, I'm gonna fill up a granary on this side because it's close to the hunting lodges. But then... Uh, once that's easily filled up, they'll have to travel over to this side to fill up a granary on here, which will be, I guess, I don't want to take up that housing area, so I'm going to put it down here. There we go. And then that will require a bunch of hunting lodges, which I can just drop down here to get things started. Leave a gap there for them to walk around. Six hunting lodges. We'll make it seven, because we're feeding, I think we need 3,000 people in this. Uh, wait, that's not the right one. There we go. We need 3,000 people. Perfect. Okay. So, uh, let's look at our... Since I think we'll make enough money from here, we can probably put down our monument, a small obelisk. Now, uh, actually, here looks really nice. If I could put it right there, it'll look good. Nice tall... Ob oh. You need 100 blocks of granite to build a small obelisk. Oh, right. He said I needed to import the granite because I can't mine it here. So, we're here. Buhen. Now, who sells granite? Salima Oasis sells copper, which we might need for our military. Abu sells... Oh, wait, Salima Oasis buys copper. Abu sells granite. There we go, 600. We can afford that. Let's open that trade route. And we need 100 blocks of this stuff. So, we need 100. Import to maintain 100 blocks. There we go. Now, uh, since a st one storage yard can only hold 30... Uh, 36, I think. We're gonna need quite a few storage yards, but I'm gonna put one down first. Just to start stocking up on granite. We need to stock up a hundred granite for that thing. Uh, so meanwhile, we're just gonna have to wait for people to move in, make sure our gold mines are performing optimally, and make sure hunting. Oh, look at all those hunters. Uh, ooh, something collapsed. Ah, my gold mines. Okay, so I'm gonna rebuild my gold mines and wait for everyone to move in. Oh, I've run out of money, and we got an extra 5,000. <laughs> well, that's plenty. Wow, Pharaoh is generous on this map. Uh, but uh, our food production starting to fill up here. Uh, things looking well all over, and people starting to move in. How's our occupation doing? Oh, we still have a few more slots to fill up, but um, filling up these houses should do. Looks like uh, we need to boost the desirability in these areas. So there's a nice gap in the middle of this block design for this sort of thing. There we go. And uh, that should... Ooh. We probably have to put down a whole bunch of large statues on the back here as well. So I'm just going to put down a few for now. And I'll stick one up there. And probably one there. And might need one right there. Okay, that looks good. So that's enough large statues. Uh, that did eat a bit into our money, but we're getting a steady stream through these gold mines, which are working as optimally as possible. Um, there, there's no delay time, I think, in the cart miner's travel time. So let's see, this guy reaches the palace, and it's not 50%. So yes, that means he makes it back in time to make another delivery. And as you can see, we've got 15 blocks of granite in already, which is kind of what put me in debt. Maybe I shouldn't have started importing it so early, but uh, I guess it's going to be okay. So now I'm going to wait for this, uh, actually, do we have unemployment yet? We have 17% unemployment, okay. That's, uh, that's gonna take some dealing with. Uh, so let's see, what can we do here? Um, I guess we could set up entertainment. We gotta put down, let's see. We could actually put a bunch of stuff back here, we just have to... 
uh, build a road like that, and then we could put temples and all kinds of things. But first I want to put down a firehouse and an architect's post. And then we can probably put down a few more temples because we don't want the gods getting angry. Three each. And then I can put a nice intersection here and put down a pavilion. There we go. They need that road. And that means we also need a pavilion over on this side. Pavilion, there we go. Shorten that road. And now on this side over here, where I've already set up a little firehouse and architect's post, we can put down our jugglers schools. We can put down a conservatory and a dance school. Right there. Good. And we'll end that road there. So, that should set up entertainment, but 17% unemployment is quite high. 78 workforce. Um, yeah, we need more, more people than that. Um, what else can we set up next? I suppose our military. Let's put down the recruiter, which we can fit over... We'll put the recruiter over here. And let's see, defensive structures, wall towers, gatehouse. We could put down, ooh, an academy. This is probably gonna make our soldiers more experienced, I guess. Uh, polish the skills, yes, okay. So that costs a bit of money, but that should deal with unemployment problems. So let's speed the game back up. There we go, people are extremely pleased with me. I uh, don't mind if I do. And now we have a need for more employees as more people are moving in. Yeah, we're just a little shot, which is perfect. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start feeding the people. Uh, I put down these two markets here and they're starting to take from this granary. So all these meat delivery guys are starting to f refill this granary. And entertainment's looking fantastic and uh, I'm sure everyone's entertained. But feeding these people is gonna boost my population up really high. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna put down an archer's fort, which I don't know where they're gonna invade me from, but I'm gonna put down one set of archers right here to help defend. I don't think it's gonna be massive invasions on this map, but I'm gonna put down a fort there to... Uh, ooh, a gold miner was attacked and robbed, and the palace has been robbed. Okay, we better put down some police stations just intermittently around here, which should help protect things. There we go. Uh, so, we're gonna start training these uh, skilled archers, the lions, uh, just in case we actually do get invaded unexpectedly. So now that we're feeding the people, we uh, got to uh, cater to their, their needs. So which mainly is, uh, let's see, employment, which I'm going to put down a couple more hunting lodges here. There we go. So we can keep up with food production. Uh, but really this, this first feeding is, is the toughest part, which you kind of need to fill up two granaries worth of food to really feed everyone. Especially in this new block design, look how many people can fit. Actually, if it wasn't for this farmland, we could fit even more houses around that side. This is really, really nice. And looks like we need some beautifications on this side here. There we go. Just fill that up. And that should be perfect. Now, ooh. Uh, to honor the glory of Egypt, Dashur requests that you send eight blocks of limestone. Okay, I got eight blocks of limestone. 12 in storage, there we go. Perfect, uh, though that supply might uh, run out pretty quickly. So I'm gonna put down a few more limestone quarries. There we go. Just build this road going back there and that should deal with it. Good. Okay, unemployment's at 25%. So I really need to deal with that before uh, <laughs> Um, we actually start facing some real trouble. So since we've got this back area set up here, what I can do is I can put down a whole bunch of barley farms. So let's... Uh, I'm not sure if we can... Can we export beer? Does anyone buy... Oh, Salima Oasis buys beer. Okay. We'll open up this trade route and we will sell when it's over 800. I think 800 should be fine. Yeah, we'll sell when it's over 800. 
this uh, storage yard here will just be for beer. So it was to fill up with pottery as well, but uh, we're going to keep it to just beer so to make exports easy. And let's see, farms, body. We'll just get a whole bunch, which should be way more than we actually need. Connect them up with a road. And the road will pop out uh, here, where we will then have... Ooh, this is actually kind of far from the housing. I'm not sure if we can actually have... We gotta have... Uh... So to be safe, I'm gonna drop down some extra housing there. And we're gonna have... Three work camps. We need to get rid of this road. I don't know why that dance is there. I'm gonna get rid of that road there. And we're gonna have... Breweries. Ooh, must build on clear land. We'll need a gap to make sure people can actually leave the city. There we go. A whole bunch of... Brewers. That should deal with some of the unemployment. These work camps do take 20 people, but... How many people are actually unemployed? 225, what the... Um... Well, that's not so good. Uh, we gotta clear off some of these temples. I'm gonna shift them over to somewhere more convenient, like here. Uh, yes, if we just move this juggler's school over to the end of the road. Then we can put this temple back there. Okay, good. And that means we can move these brewers over to here. Actually, no, we're just going to put down a whole bunch of work camps to try and take up employment. <laughs> uh, that's not so ideal. I guess we can put down a whole bunch of work camps here as well, just to get rid of the employment problem. Oh, and I've run out of money. Never mind. There we go. Unemployment dropping. Good. we got to keep that low, otherwise people will start leaving the city. Oh, what's this? To supplement his estate stocks, Matchless Pharaoh wants you to send him 900 flasks of beer to Salima Oasis within 24 months. Do we have 900? Oh, we do! There you go. Uh, good thing I'm completely overproducing uh, beer, though it looks like these farms are really losing fertility. We're not going to be able to keep this up for much longer, so just to be safe, I'm going to export when it's over 1,200. Just to make sure we're actually getting rid of the surplus. Uh, so, uh, looks like we're starting to build up on our blocks of granite, but I just noticed that we can only import 15 a year. So that really puts a, a time limit on uh, how quickly we can sort this stuff out. Meanwhile, our unemployment problem has been somewhat dealt with because of all of these unnecessary work caps. But uh, we do need a few more things. So for example, uh, I would like to build a water crossing. Uh, just in case we do get attacked on this side, we have three, well, we're gonna have three forts of uh, archers. I'm not really bothering with uh, infantry too much because it doesn't seem like we really need it. Uh, so let's see, warships, we probably don't, do we need warships? I don't know, transport walls, we probably need at least one of those. So let's put that there and we'll, we'll get a warship wharf as well just in case. You never know, you never know. And we're gonna have this road come around this way. Uh, so, ooh, we should probably put some houses here as well, just to be safe. Now, um, they need timber, as far as I can tell. Uh, which we might have to import. Salima Oasis does sell wood. And, uh, should we actually connect this road up here? Might be more efficient if we just do that. Connect these areas. Yes, that makes sense. I was just worried that these entertainment guys are gonna walk down this way, but this road is definitely not connected. So we can put a storage yard right here. And this can, uh, I don't know what we need, but we just need a bit of wood for now. So we're gonna set to import uh, wood. Uh, I'm just gonna import to maintain 400 for now, because we don't really need that much. But this should get, uh, let's see, transport shipwrights more here. Built by shipwrights. Do we have to build shipwrights? Where are those? 
Watch of Weaponsmith Academy for Recruiter Defensive Structures. Uh, shipwright. There we go. Shipwright. Oh, it is actually... Okay. This Warship Wharf... Oh, it's expensive to replace it, but it's more efficient if it's over there. And this road just continues on like that. And this is replaced with the... Oh, I keep forgetting where it is. There you go. Shipwright. The shipwright should go here. There we go. So, uh, we import the wood to here. Yep. And we can get some ships being built here. At least this transport wharf. Uh, your battalion needs transport to navigate now. Yeah. So the transport wharf and one warship because I really don't know what's going to be showing up. The no, no news of attacks so far, but I just want to be prepared for that. Uh, and also, it would be terrible if an invasion started right here and we just completely lost our food supply. That would be horrible. Oh, look at this. Uh, Pharaoh wants 16 blocks of limestone. That's gonna be no problem. We're completely overproducing that. So go ahead. Take what you want. We get some production going on over there. Now, our uh, obelisk is gonna need 100 granite. Currently, we've got 60. Uh, so we're going to need a bit more space for granite. So I'm going to set another quarter of this to fill up because we got 36, 36, 36. Is that actually... Oh, th actually we don't. Uh, three, three storage yards full will actually get us 100 blocks of granite. I was thinking 30, 30, 30 is 90, but it's actually 36. Is it thir oh, 32. Ah, oh, damn it. We... <laughs> I thought it was 36. It's 32. I'm gonna put a quarter space of granite in this storage yard as well. So then we can get a nice hundred blocks for our obelisk, which I would love to build right there. Now, just let me just check on the gods. Gods seem to be fine. We kind of run out of space to build temples anyway. Um, but we could fit in one more there and one more here. There we go. And looks like we've got our transport vessel and military warship uh, ready to go uh, not exactly sure if we're gonna need them but uh, they're they're prepared and we got almost three forts full of archers uh, ooh, there we go so our kingdom rating is almost at its target really so population supposed to be 3000 and as you can see we've barely evolved these houses and we're already at 2500 uh, though we might have to evolve it a bit more so we can get uh, to our prosperity target. Uh, city is more prosperous when exports earn more than import costs. Okay, so probably when we stop importing all this granite, then we should be okay. Oh, what's this? In pursuit of a long-standing feud, Serbet Kadim, an Egyptian city is under attack and needs your help. You should dispatch troops within eight months. And I'm also dealing with this fire right here, uh, which for some reason has become a problem. Uh, but let's see, we gotta dispatch some troops here. Um, I'm just gonna send three. That should deal with them. Dispatch now. And while they're away, I'm gonna train one more fort of archers. There we go, we got plenty of archers. So, uh, I gotta figure out why this place is burnt down. We might need another uh, firehouse thing. Uh, which, to be efficient, I'm going to swap these round. And try and prevent further fires from happening. Oh, Pharaoh wants another 25 blocks of limestone, which we can, no problem, give away there. Which is going to, with our troops sent off and that block of limestone, that's going to bring our kingdom rating up. And uh, we're at December, which means currently we have 75 blocks of granite. And this next year is going to bring in... Uh, ooh, our employment levels have actually changed a bit. Let's get rid of one of those. Uh, that this, is, this year, this new year is going to bring in more blocks of granite, which there we go. Do we have 100 blocks yet? We got 90. Ooh, what's this? Because Abu is growing, Abu is now willing to trade even more blocks of granite. Ah, I see. So basically, if we started uh, importing granite in the first year, we'll reach 100 by this point. That's game design there. That's not a coincidence. Uh, but either way, we should get some blocks of granite coming in. 98. Are we really just short by two? Come on, give us, give us a couple more blocks of granite. 
Do we have it? We have 100 blocks of granite, perfect, and our kingdom rating's at 73. But now that we got 100 blocks of granite, we should be able to put down our monument, the small obelisk, which we're going to put right in the center there. Look, wow, it fits just nicely. And there we go. Used up all of our blocks of granite. We can stop importing this. Uh, there we go. We don't need that anymore. Now, is this actually done? Finally, we have all the granite we need. Once my carpenters finish building the scaffolding, stonemasons can begin carving the obelisk. Oh, right. Okay, so this is just a big block of granite. So we got to get stonemasons and carpenters and probably a bit more wood. So I'm going to up my import of wood to 800. And we need to put down, let's see, probably a whole bunch of stonemasons. Um, I guess we can put down a bunch there. And I'll put down an extra carpenter's guild as well, just to keep things going along. There we go. I need a carpenter here and I need it now. Why don't you apply your leadership skills at that good for nothing carpenter's guild? Okay, so we do have, uh, we've got a carpenter's guild there. And we got a uh, second one there. We got uh, stonemasons there and three more at the back. And that should get things going. Though I'm not sure if it's going to get going as fast as we want. Let's squeeze in as many stonemasons guilds as we can around here. I'm not exactly sure where else we can fit them. Uh, there really isn't that much space left. I've kind of filled it all up. Well, I guess we can get rid of a work camp now that... Uh, how many people do we have? Okay, we can actually get rid of two of these and put down two more stonemasons guilds. There we go. That should get uh, things going. Ooh, there we go. Because my troops capably dispatched the foe at Serbet Kadim, Serbet Kadim has been saved from our enemies. Wow, okay. Uh, that means we might have actually lost... Serbet Kadim, where are they? Serbet Kadim. We might have actually been taken if we didn't save them, but never mind. Now that we've got that, uh, our kingdom rating is all the way up at 100. Prosperity's fine, culture's fine. So, uh, really we need more people while this monument builds itself. It's already at 40% complete, which means we need to evolve these houses. So we've got a big supply of beer, but this warehouse has a quarter stored up for pottery. So let's go ahead and import that, our current trade route. Oh, we need to export it. Who sells us pottery? Can we get Maidom? Okay, there we go. Maidom sells us pottery. Let's do that. And we're going to import to maintain at 800. There we go. And that'll evolve those houses, which means we're... Who? It's a sea merchant? Oh, it's a water trade route. Okay, we don't have any land trade routes that are willing to sell us pots. Okay, well, good good thing, uh... Oh, they also buy beer. Okay. Uh, well, we're probably gonna have to get rid of this shipwright then. And we're gonna put down the dock right there. I know it's a long walk, but we just need some pots. There we go. So, once we get some pots in, they might actually buy some beer from us, but we don't really need to worry about that. We've got plenty of money. And the land trade route pretty much takes up any surplus beer. So we're gonna get some pots in, evolve these houses, and we're gonna need, uh... Space for more work camps, because we're gonna uh, start having some big unemployment problems again. There we go, we can put a whole bunch of work camps there. Okay, there we go, houses are starting to evolve. I don't know how they all suddenly got pots at the same time, but uh, now they need beer. So they're gonna evolve even further. This obelisk is getting along quite nicely at 61% complete. So these market ladies are gonna... Let's see, where's the market lady? There we go. Unet, yes. Okay, good. We're getting some beer into the supply as well. So these markets are gonna have pots, meat, and beer. Sounds like, um, well... Well, I suppose it's something. There we go. Now we've got plenty of space for more people to move in. And a lot of people are moving in, pushing up our unemployment. So we're just gonna put down working camps to match our unemployment rate. There we go. We just gotta keep this going. It's at 10%, so let's quickly put down a bunch more of these. How many people are unemployed? 99. Okay. Oh, what's this? 
to honor the glory of Egypt, Dashur requests that you send 2,000 Devons. Well, good thing I'm rich and we mine gold here. No, go ahead, have it. Now, unemployment's still raising up, so let's squeeze in more of these. City's population has reached 3,000, which means we just have to wait for this obelisk to complete itself and keep putting down work camps to deal with any employment problems. We've run out of space to build work camps over there, and more people are still moving in. So let's stick one there. Oh, and there we go. Masons have put the finishing touches on the obelisk and at long last it is complete, which means we should have reached all of our... Uh, oh, the monument rating hasn't actually raised up now. Do we actually need to... There's no burial provisions to deal with in this mission. So let's just speed it up. Wait for the monument rating to go up. We probably have to wait until the next year. Oh no, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha, we've won. Well, that was easy enough. So let's just go ahead and proceed. Thanks to your skill, Egypt now claims part of Nubia as its own. Through the city you have established, you have demonstrated Egypt's strength, wealth, and grandeur to the conquered Nubians. All right, well, that's me building an obelisk in the middle of the desert and producing a lot of meat, a lot of beer, and mining up a lot of gold. All right, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.